I think I think a trap star to me is somebody that um, finds a niche, perfects a niche, and makes the best out of that niche. Like, uh, you, you in something, and then you 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 going hard at whether it's the street, which we try to stray away from. Um, coming to doing something positive, to me, is whatever you're trying to achieve. But what is a trap star? A trap is the literally the physical location where crime takes place. And, and, and a trap star oftentimes refers to a person who's successful um, at selling drugs and or at the very least engaging in crime. So, so the argument we're trying to make through art is that structural violence, structural inequality predicts crime. Um, particularly in a community like Wilmington. So, right, so a lot of the guys understand when they go to the block, when they go to the trap, right, when, and, and that's what they're referring to the block as, you know, as the trap. They understand that that, that, that lifestyle, that crime, right, that, that, that engagement in street life ultimately will result in one of three things, right, physical injury, incarceration, and or death. And that's why they refer to the block right, where they're selling drugs at, as the trap. It's interesting through the Creative Vision Factory and the work that we're doing with artists on this larger behavioral health spectrum, they too are really identifying with the trap, you know, and the drawings that are coming out of this, like the drawings of Nakoma Frederick, you can look at these as illustrations of the trap, from the trap, inside the trap. The 1954 matter is still a 21st century social justice issue. It's about resources and the lack thereof. And the, and the inequities in the terms of the distribution of resources for public education. I'm probably. Yeah, that's amazing. All three of these are amazing. Oh, yes, absolutely. All three. just see an outpouring of yes. artwork from the community and that makes a strong impact when it's you know incorporated into an exhibition it, it certainly is, is visually striking and we definitely want to reflect the fact that street art doesn't just exist in small microcosms it's widespread it's throughout Wilmington and this community really came out and, and showed that it, it was receptive to this type of exhibition these are two Darnells working all the way down though we got Elijah Muhammad, man. Oh, man. Yeah, this oh, the man. boxer um, out there in the community. Like, what, what do they mean by trapping? What, what, in essence, how would they define that? They out on the block doing their thing. You know, like I said, I'm, they hustling. Why do they call it the trap? Because it's always a trap. I mean, because actually they know sooner or later they're going to want to get caught. You know, these are the only things I trap. <laughs> this and cutting hair. What I wanted to do was I wanted to get to a point where we could show people that you don't have to be on the corner to actually be a trap star. I almost want people to feel that way, overwhelmed yeah. Yeah. when they walk nice, in. Nice, nice. Overwhelmed, hyperventilated, say, oh my God. This is interesting. Okay. There is and then, and, uh, and then, uh, maybe they'd be interested in the He's in the art exhibition, too. I got to forward his stuff. He's a <laughs> Trap Stars, the exhibition. Um, I think it's a great thing because it's, it's, it's far too often that individuals aren't given a way to express themselves through art, through music, through technology. And uh, I think what trap stars really do is, is, even in some aspects, redefine art for people. It, it, it gives an opportunity for the culture to be accepted um, and, and for individuals to know, you know their place in it. You gotta put yourself in the right environments for you to grow. You really do. If I got all this talent and I'm sitting in the wrong environments, that talent doesn't, that's useless, it doesn't mean anything.